What is going on everybody and welcome on back into Call of the Wild where today I'm bringing you another one of the highly requested ultimate hunting guides. Today we're going to be taking on Parquet Fernando so let's go ahead and jump on in. Now then if you guys do find this video helpful then please do go ahead and leave a like on the video but also subscribe to the channel. You guys have no idea how much that does actually help out. Now then Parquet Fernando is home to seven beautiful species which are going to be the cinnamon teal, the black buck and also the axis deer. Then we also have the puma, mule deer and red deer and then finally we also have the water buffalo but as i'm sure that you guys have watched a couple of these by now will know we are going to go ahead and break it down animal by animal starting off with the cinnamon teals now then i'm sure it'll come as no surprise but the cinnamon teal are very similar to every other bird species in this game which is that they will absolutely love to create a need zone at almost any of the lakes on the reserve okay so if we just go ahead and have a look here you can see we've got a rest zone there for them uh this one here's another one and then i do believe that we've got another one up there and you can pretty much go to any any lake and you will find a need zone for them. Now while they may not have any specific need zone times, the general rule of thumb that I find is that they often will have a resting zone at each of the lakes um, between 7.30 and 10 a.m. So set your time 7.30, make your way over there and then hopefully you'll be able to find some resting around that time. Now then the next species that we are going to move on to is indeed going to be the black buck which have a dominant presence around these two middle right lakes, okay? That is going to be the two locations that I'm going to recommend for them. Uh, there are a couple of others a little bit higher up. However, these two tend to be the hot spots for them, which I know you guys absolutely love. Uh, and then in terms of their need zone time, we're going to be looking from 6 a.m. till midday and then also from 2 p.m. until 7 p.m. Now then moving on to the axis there, they can mostly be found right at this lake around here next to the Estepa Dorada area, which I'm sure I've totally butchered, but that's okay. Um, so you'll find them around here and also the surrounding areas as well. And then also the sort of seahorse, I'm going to I'm gonna call it a seahorse kind of lake it is it's what it reminds me of so i'm gonna go with it um if you if you head up over here as well you'll find a couple of the axis deer locations as well and then in terms of need zone time they start nice and early from 4 a.m until midday but then they also have an evening need zone as well from 6 p.m until midnight and then moving on to the puma now they tend to be quite a map wide animal um i've found them in as many places as on this middle right hand side at the lakes in the middle of the map and then also at the top as well and at the bottom they can be found all over the place the only one side of the map that I haven't really found them on is up towards this left upper side here. Now then, the Pumas have three need zones throughout the day. They have six until nine. They also have from one until five, and then they also have from seven until midnight. And now they're moving on to those mule deer. One of the animals that can be found on what it feels like every map at this stage. However, on Parque Fernando, you're going to find them at these upper four middle lakes, and then also along the right-hand coast as well. Now then, the mule deer do have two need zone times, which are going to be from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and then also from 5 p.m. until midnight midnight as well. So a nice long evening need zone there for you to go ahead and start hunting them. And then when talking about the red deer, this lake right here in front of me tends to be quite a hotspot for them. I have two need zones for them. Yes, I do only have two. I have two need zones for them right here. And that has produced at least three diamonds for me within the past couple of weeks. Uh, one of which I did manage to get on my stream, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Wills TV. Feel free to jump on in and ask any Call of the Wild questions out there. Um, but yeah, so this one here tends to be a really good hotspot. And then the other two locations that I find a lot of them are going to be these two lower areas as well, the two lower lakes there. But of course, in order to take them out, you need to know what time they're going to be there, which is why I'm just going to go ahead and show you directly my need zone times, which are from 5 until 9 in the morning, and then lower here on the map if we have any red deer need zones, which I don't know if we do. Uh, do we have any? No, we do not. I do believe that they are over there from 1 until 4.30, so check that area out as well. And then our final animal is going to be the beautiful water buffalo, which I have just heard one calling out down there. There you go. These are an amazing species. It's my absolute favorite animal to hunt on this map and it's the reason why I've been playing a lot of Parquet Fernando lately. Got myself quite a lot of diamond buffalo and they are basically going to be anywhere along this right hand coast. I wouldn't recommend going down to the lower parts of the map but pretty much anywhere from this upper right hand corner all the way down to this middle or even the lower outpost there. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to get yourself herd upon herd upon herd. They love going along this right hand side here for their drinking zone. Uh, usually I set my time to 9.30 and start making my way down. That tends to be quite a good strategy that I've come across so far. However, it can sometimes be quite difficult to spot them in between all the trees. So do take your time if you know that you're coming up to one of their need zones. However, if you want to go to a bit more of a variety, then go into any of these upper middle lakes are going to be a good shout for you. And then also, as you saw a little bit earlier, I do have a couple of water buffalo need zones here from 5 until 10 and from 5 until 10.30. So make sure that you go ahead and check this lower lake out right there for a little bit of a hot spot. And then as you guys know, not only do I like to go through the animals, but I do also 
also like to try and help you guys open up that map if it is your first time playing, which is why I always go ahead and show you guys the outpost and I say go ahead and pause the video right now if you do want to go ahead and see where they all are. And then apart from that, the only other thing that I cover tends to be the gun setup that I run. Now for the cinnamon teals, obviously I'm going to have my 22 LR rifle from the weapons pack one, which is going to be my class one gun right there. But then also because most of the animals are going to be class three through to nine, I need to have a variety of guns on me. So I usually run the Solikin for this map, not the 243. We then also have the trusty M1 that I use in pretty much every map setup that I'm running. And then we also go with either the 4570 or the 300. It's entirely up to you guys on that one because obviously these water buffalo here are going to be a beautiful class nine species. And then the next class down is only going to be the level six red deer, which you can use the M1 for. Now then, as you guys that have watched a couple of these by now will be familiar with, I never run callers when I'm playing Call of the Wild. For me, I don't feel like they actually provide me with much benefit for my style of hunting. My style of hunting tends to be a bit more run and gun, so I just sort of come across the animals as I'm making my way around the map. Now then, I'm currently making my way down on this right-hand side, and I told you guys about all of those beautiful herds of buffalo, and you can just see here how many there are spawning in right there, even a little couple of level sevens. It is an absolutely OP spot, so I highly recommend that you guys get yourselves on down to this right-hand side. But for now, guys, that is going to be it. This has been your Parquet Fernando Ultimate Hunting Guide. I do hope that it has been beneficial to you. If it has, please do go ahead and leave a like and also subscribe for more content on this channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the hunt out there. Peace.